zero fossil fuel and the moment you've been waiting for uh, at least the moment I've been waiting for the actual gas production numbers of the Zufer cell uh, you can see I have my nifty little gas measuring device here all prepped and ready to go I'm just going to open up the valve on the end of the bleed tube and suck the remaining amount of air out of the bottom of the, of the uh, jar you can see it going down I'm, uh, Okay, that closed off the valve. That's now sealed. There's no air in the jar. And get my stopwatch ready. Again, remember the cell is cold. It has not been warmed up. So efficiency will go up. But here are the numbers. 24 volts, 10 amps. On your marks, get set. Go. We are at fifteen seconds. Thirty seconds. I gotta keep this from tipping. And that's it. Forty three seconds, actually forty two seconds. We've captured five hundred milliliters of HHO gas. And I'm going to immediately let that bleed out because I don't feel like an explosion. <sighs> so, 240 watts in. Let's do some quick math. 240 watts in, and we captured 500 milliliters in 42 seconds. Whereas before we had 300 watts in, I captured 500 milliliters in 45 seconds. So we definitely have an increase in efficiency not as tremendous as I had hoped, certainly not what the uh, what the uh, gas production appears to be, but what I can tell you is that the cell A, a is not warmed up and B I would like to point out that I have also discovered one other thing tonight there is a threshold voltage at which current increases exponentially. If I bring this voltage, I'm going to start it up again but I'm going to ramp it up slowly If I go to 12 volts, notice that this is 12 volts and I'm drawing 600 milliamps. That's it. I haven't reached the breakdown voltage. There's 15 volts and I'm at 1.2 amps. I went up 3 volts or about 15-20% but I almost doubled the current. That's 18 volts and two and a half amps. See how quickly that's going up? That's 20 volts and five amps. Twenty two volts and seven amps. 24 volts and 10 amps and the production is going up. If I were to increase this voltage I can't go any higher because this variable transformer will not support more than 5 amps continuous and I won't go any higher than 10 amps intermittent. If I put try to put 30 volts to this cell I guarantee it's going to draw 20, 30, maybe 40 amps. at which point it becomes much more efficient because the only thing that's increasing very rapidly is the amperage this is a very interesting result very interesting indeed 
Uh, I think my next test. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this cell warm up for a while, and then my next test will probably be to increase the electrolyte concentration because, as far as I know, this is not a very concentrated solution. Two level teaspoons of uh, of sodium hydroxide to just under one gallon of water does not seem like a very strong concentration, but it certainly is enough to get some get some results recorded here. Um, should be very interesting. Should be very. This is going to be a very interesting evening. Zero fossil fuel. I will be back.